Meiosis is a form of cell division for producing more sex cells, also called gametes, and in mammals, I want you to think of things like sperm and egg. Now, the example I'm going to show you is going to be with a cell with 46 chromosomes, which is the same number of chromosomes as in humans. So, let's go through how meiosis works. In the beginning, there are 46 chromosomes in the cell. I'm going to color code these to show that half originated from the mother and the other half originated from the father. Now, in addition to this, um, I want to mention that in a previous video, I did discuss a bit, a little bit about chromosomes, DNA, genes and alleles. So I'm actually going to go ahead and um, color code some of these chromosomes as having um, certain genes and alleles because we're going to see how these get mixed up. Um, towards the end of meiosis. Now in the first step of meiosis, just like with mitosis, the chromosomes condense and shorten and fatten so they become visible. And just like before, um, the replicated forms of those chromosomes are shown. And once that's all done, the chromosomes then align in the center again, exactly like mitosis. But the difference here is that the um, replicated chromosomes can actually overlap some sections and begin to swap. Now this is random and the whole idea of this is just to uh, jumble up and randomize um, where the alleles are going to end up because this randomization helps with increasing variation and you'll see that later on in this topic that increase in variation does have some advantages. Now the next step of meiosis is that once these sections of chromosomes have um, overlapped and swapped sections, they then become pulled apart by spindle fibers once, and then they get pulled apart by spindle fibers again. Now in this step where they're being divided into two cells and then four cells, this step is also quite random because you can't actually predict where these chromosomes are going to end up. You can't say point to one chromosome and say it's going to end up in this particular cell. You can't point to that one and say it most definitely will wind up in the other one. It's random. And again, this randomization just helps with increasing variation. Notice that in this whole process of meiosis, all it's done is randomize um, where the distribution of alleles are going to be in the final four daughter cells. At no point during meiosis are new genes or new alleles uh, formed anywhere. Now at the end of meiosis, you can see that there are four daughter cells and that they are all non-identical to each other and that they do have um, half the number of chromosomes compared to the original parent cell. Hup. Good boy, good boy. What's over there, Toast? What's over there?